So the beginning of 2020, the manufacturer contained 1,100 tons of product. So we're going to call that our A sub zero as our initial condition. And the differential equation dA over dt represents the estimate increase in years for the next 10 years. We want to use the tangent line to approximate t equals 1 fourth. So for this, we need a point in a slope if we're looking at tangent lines. The point is at t equals 0, and we said a is 1,100. The slope is going to be dA over dt at t equals 0. So we're going to use this formula. It's 1 over 10, then a sub 0 minus 100. So treat a as like your y and t as your x. Well, what is a at t equals 0? a at t equals 0 is 1,100. So we're going to replace a sub 0, a of 0 with 1,100. Subtract, subtract 100. That's going to be 1,000 over 10 is going to be 100. Okay, so that's going to be my slope. So it's going to be y minus y1. y1 is, actually we could just use y equals mx plus b because this is our y-intercept. So the slope is 100 and our y-intercept is 1100. So now we want to approximate t equals 1 fourth. So we're just going to plug in 1 fourth in for t. Now 1 fourth of 100 is 25. 1100 plus 25 is 1125. So that is the estimate. And this is going to be tons. Now the next part, we want to find the second derivative in terms of a. And then we want to say whether that's going to be an estimate, an underestimate or overestimate. Okay, so we'll use this equation dA over dt is equal to 1 tenth a minus 10. I just distributed the 1 tenth. So now I'll take the second derivative. So this will be d squared a over dt squared. The derivative of a is dA over dt, which dA over dt is what we started with. Recall dA over dt is 1 over 10 my, uh, times a minus 100. And then that's going to be minus 10. So simplifying this, uh, we'll distribute the 1 10. So it'll be 1 over 100 a minus 10 and then minus 10, which will be 1 over 100 a minus 20. So this is my second derivative. We want to see if this is an underestimate or overestimate. Well, because we're looking here, uh, t being greater than 0, like, right, we started at t equals 0, we want to approximate t equals 1 fourth. So at, when t is 0, the second derivative is 1 over 100 times a sub 0, which we said a sub 0 was 1100 minus 20. Well, 1100 divided by 100 is 11, minus 20 is negative 9. So my second derivative is negative, which means it's concave down. Okay. So my function is going to be concave down, and I'm going to have a tangent line on a concave down function. Clearly, the tangent line is going to be above the function. So we'll say that it's going to be a, the tangent line is going to be an overestimate. Now we want to find the solution to the differential equation. So we have dA over dt is equal to 1 over 10 times a minus 100. And the initial condition we said was a of 0 is equal to 1100. So this is a separable differential equation. We're going to 
divide by a minus 100 and multiply by dt. Now we're going to integrate the antiderivative 1 over a minus 100 is ln of a minus 100. And then antiderivative 1 over 10 is 1 over 10 t plus c. Now I'm going to do e to both sides. The e to the natural log are going to cancel. I'm left with a minus 100 is e to the 1 over 10 t. And then this uh, e to the c, so like we break this up as e to the 1 over 10 t times e to the c. And this is just a constant, so I'm just going to call it a. Or that's not a good letter. Let's use c, or k rather. Let's use a different letter. Let's call it k. And so we can add 100 to both sides. Finally, we want to satisfy the initial condition. So we're going to plug in 1100 for a and then t equals 0. When t equals 0, e to the 0 is just 1. So we get k is 1,000. So we conclude that the solution is a of t equals 1,000 e to the 1 over 10t plus 100.